Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name's Kat, as always, thank you for stopping in. This is... Little Red. This is Red, my daughter. She is joining us for today's video because I have something so fun today planned. Are you ready to hear? Yes. All right, let's just roll the intro. So Red, do you want to unbox this first and then we're going to go into a taste test? Because some of it, I'm going to tell you this, some of it we are going to make in another video. Some of it we're going to make in a today's video to taste test. I just, I don't want to cook cupcakes. It is like 35 above. I'll put the Fahrenheit number down here if you are in America or in countries that use Celsius. It is hot here. So some stuff I am not going to cook in the heat. Even though we have air, I'm not doing it. First off... Um, got Red a Pez. Red is a Pez collector. A Disney. A Disney Red uh, Pez collector. So she's got the... Steamboat Mickey. Woo, woo. <laughs> Steamboat Mickey. Woo, woo. Also got... This is... Do you know what these are? Um... Starburst. Blue Raspberry Jello. What's Starburst? Starburst is a candy. Red has not got into a lot of the candies. Some candies she does, but not all of them. But I got this and I actually, I'm going to make this one because I'm interested to try. So we'll pop that up here. Jello is really easy to make. This is also the sugar free, by the way. All right, the next thing we got, I actually bought cases of these, but I took one of each out um, and put them in the freezer to chill. And so I've got Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Spark with blast of raspberry lemonade. So that is the first drink we've got. It's got zero calories in it, people. The next one I got is the Mountain Dew Voltage charged with raspberry citrus flavor and ginseng. Uh, in, in my mind, I think this is a blue ras. And this has 170 calories in this can. So that's why we do a lot of the sugar-free sodas in this house. However, my husband likes the full sugar ones. And you know what? That's his choice. That's not my choice. Is that your choice? Not all the time. But anyway, we are here now. <laughs> all right. This one I thought of you when I picked it out. This is the Major Melon Mountain Dew charged with watermelon. That's what it looks like. This one has 160 cal. I think this one's got to be my favorite. I thought you said that about the first one. So the next thing I've gotten, and I'm going to make this today too, because I we used to get Kool-Aid in Canada. We do not get it here. It's a very few and far between when we get a Kool-Aid here. And when I find a Kool-Aid here, I buy Kool-Aid. So I got Kool-Aid and pink lemonade. I also got a few more, but they slipped down in the bag. We are going to make this. Are you excited? Yes. You've never had Kool-Aid. My mouth is it's, drooling to have some. When I was a kid, I grew up in the 80s here in Canada, and we had Kool-Aid. We had a bunch of different flavors of things. But I got Kool-Aid, pink lemonade. I also got a couple other ones. I'm just so excited. So the other thing I got, and I, I'm kind of kicking myself now for a second. I'm going to do the Starburst one. But I got the Sodic Watermelon um, Jello. I'm excited to try this. But I think I'm still going to go with the Blue Raspberry. But this one, I haven't... I've had this in, like, the States. A friend of mine made, like, a trifle with it, in, and I loved it. So I picked this guy up, too. Oh, we also have store footage. Let's roll the store footage as well. All right. Across this like American store in Canada, and it takes us back to living in the States. And they got all this amazing American food. Okay, yeah. so oh. they have bean dip. Look at this, they got fruity pebbles icing. They've got crunch, fun fetty, dolly southern style banana cake. What? <gasps> Uh, Dunkaroo Vanilla Frosting. Uh, flavored syrups. Amazing. Funfetti. Dunkaroo Pancakes. With blue syrup. Muffin tops. Keg of draft root beer. They have hot pickles. But do they have boiled peanuts? Do they have boiled... Okay. We are back in the studio. So this I got actually for your birthday. Red's birthday is coming up. 
and I thought we would use the Funfetti by the Pillsbury Company. And it's got the confettis on the top, but this is purple icing. So we're gonna save this for your um, birthday. birthday, but it's ready to use icing. It's pre-whipped. That I cannot wait for. Okay. So the other thing for your birthday cupcakes, I thought we would do with the Funfetti is get the um, cupcake mix to go with it, because why not? But yeah. look what they have back here. They have Funfetti cupcake phone, cones. So we might do that for her cake. We like doing something special for Red's cakes. Like some years we have a Jello cake. So we're gonna do like a Funfetti cake for her birthday, but we got the little cone idea on the back. So that will be obviously in another video. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're getting to the nitty gritty. This is, I bought for me, this is Country Time, Zero Sugar, Lemonade. I'm a lemonade girl, uh, lemonade and sweet tea. So Country Time Lemonade on the go packs. We don't get this here. We get the full sugar lemonade and I'm not, um, not to say I'm not a lemonade, but I would prefer the pink lemonade. Mm, me too. Okay, now we're getting into the goods here. Mm, yeah. We're gonna try this today. We are gonna try the Dunkaroo Pancake Mix by Betty Crocker. I have seen the Cinnamon Toast Crunch one and the store did have it, but I just wanted to try the Dunkaroo one. It comes with the icing. We do not get Dunkaroos here in Canada. We used no. to, and I used to take them for lunches, but we're gonna try the pancake mix. Also, we got real Dunkaroos. You've never had Dunkaroos. So for those of you who don't know, these were like the hottest thing in like the 90s, early 2000s. There's icing and cookies. And you take the cookies and you dunk them in the icing. And of course- Wait, wait, wait. I remember it was something cheese and crackers. Yeah, something similar to that, except this is cookies and vanilla frosting. We are gonna try that right away, actually. The next thing I got was, oh, there's, there's more of my Kool-Aid. Pink lemonade. I did get this Kool-Aid as well, which is the blue raspberry lemonade. Once again, a lemonade fanatic, but I think I've got the pink lemonade. I like the pink lemonade. First. Better. Oh, this looks so much fun. This oh. is Ca uh, Captain Crunch's Ocean Blue Artificially Maple Syrup Syrup, and it's blue. Like, it's blue. And we're going to do a taste test on this, and then it we'll put it on the like dump room pancakes. I know, it kind of looks and like ocean cleaner. water. And cleaner. It kind of looks like I wonder cleaner. what it smells like. I'm excited to try because in Canada we are spoiled. We have maple syrup, like real maple syrup, like from maple trees. They tap the trees and you get the maple syrup and they boil it and all the things. So to try something like that is like a treat for us. So yeah. I'm excited. Okay, so the next thing we got was the Dunkaroo Vanilla Frosting. This is like my childhood in a can. I kid you not. Like I honestly, um, remember getting Dunkaroos as a kid and just loving the frosting so much. Look at that. That is, and there used to be like a, mm, that looks so good. I think it was a kangaroo. Hit me down in the comments. What was the, um, the mascot? Was it a kangaroo for the Dunkaroos? I think it was. Anyway, this frosting is gold. I'm so excited. We're going to taste test this and you're going to love it. Yeah, I'm so excited. Okay. Two last things here. We have boiled peanuts. If you go to the southern states, so my husband used to rodeo in the states, the southern states, and they always talk about boiled peanuts. And a good friend of mine who's from Alabama says, oh, you, you're gonna love boiled peanuts. I found them, except I didn't find the Cajun ones. I found boiled peanuts, but apparently you can get them in gas stations like you can, like we get hot dogs here in our gas stations. You can get boiled peanuts in the southern states gas stations. So we're gonna give those a go and they come in a can. A snap can. They look so, everything just looks so good. The other thing I got, and I don't know if this is just, I can't find it here where I live, but this I is, picked it out. yeah, red picked it out, but this is like the sugar gum. It's not the best gum in the world, but it's, it tastes good. It, it probably, yeah, it does taste very good. And so it's like a, it's like a sugar dust gum. Anyhow, we are gonna go ahead and taste test a couple things and then go to the kitchen and make it. Okay, so first things first, uh, we have to try this. I'm so excited. Me too. It took me so much not to like buy two and eat one first, but I didn't. I bought one and this is what I got. So we're gonna do the Dunkaroos vanilla. Now they did have the chocolate, but I decided to go with the vanilla. Um, and I kinda like vanilla. Too. Apparently there's 190 calories in one tray with frosting. So we're gonna be all hopped up for our golf game. Red and I are going golfing later on today. So this is amazing. I got a question. Those don't look right. So anyway, that's what they look. That's what the cookies look like now. 
That's what the tray looks like. They used to have a round tray. Hold on, I'm gonna call my husband. What did the old Dunkaroos look like? You and me? Yes, you. We're on camera. <laughs> like, this is what they look like now. Is that what they look like? Yeah. Okay, do you wanna try one? Red. Okay. So you gotta get the icing. So you have to do the icing on the cookie. Okay. And then I'm gonna show you what I used to do. I even have the D stamped on it here. For danger zone. You like them? I'll show you what I used to do. Just no, 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 wait a minute there. So I used to take two Dunkaroo cookies and I used to make a sandwich. Here, hold that tray. So I used to take the icing on the one like that, and I used to make a Dunkaroo, a Dunkaroo Sammy. Ooh, it's so good, I'm having another one. <laughs> Take me back, honey. I ate two or one. Oh, mm. that's amazing. I think we're just doing Dunkaroos for a whole day. <laughs> we're just gonna do Dunkaroos, so, the remake of the Dunkaroos, though, they don't taste exactly like my childhood. I think it's something in the cookie that's missing, but I'm not mad. I'm going to give them a solid 9 out of 10. I give them a 10 out of 10. Yeah, your first time. Okay, one more, and then we got other things to try. No, that's okay. 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 <laughs> We're going to get something else to try. Those are like my childhood in a container. Okay, so I got some spoons. And we're gonna try the Captain Crunch syrup. And it is from, what company makes this? I don't even know. Oh, Quaker Oats Company. So we're gonna try the blue, but I've got a spoon. I'm gonna taste it first. I'm, I'm just gonna put a little bit on here because we're gonna put it on pancakes later. You go ahead. Okay. Here, hold your spoon. I'm, I got a spoon for me. What does it taste like? It tastes like coffee. Really? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, look at my tongue. <laughs> it tastes like burnt coffee. It tastes like <laughs> fake butter. Like, that's not maple syrup, eh? No. It's. It says... <laughs> artificial maple flavor it tastes like fake butter i'm not i don't hate it but you know the um Mom, look at my tongue. syrup that you get in the the bottle that's similar to this but it's like a maple syrup but it's got like the butter flavor that's what that tastes like we'll put those on our dunkaroos later and give them a shot how does that sound <laughs> okay next i give the captain crunch syrup like actually like a six out of ten I give it actually a one out of a ten. You didn't like it? Mm. No. Now we're going to move into the Mountain Dews. Which one do you want to try first? I got the three of them. The blue guys. <laughs> okay. Because you're my family, we can share out of a can. Mm -hmm. Don't okay. hack on me in the comments either. No hack. So we are going to go with the Mountain Dew mm -hmm. Voltage. This one's supposed to be charged with raspberry, citrus, and ginseng and other natural flavors. But it's 170 calories per can. Um, we don't get a lot of the flavored sodas here. Not really. This is the best. Do you like it? I do. Oh, there it goes. It's, yep. I mean, I like it, but it's not awesome. It tastes like a light blue ras. I can definitely taste the ginseng in it. Not... I wish there was more blue ras to it or more, more raspberry. That's what I think it's missing. And maybe you could have like a touch, a touch of lemon. It's kind of tarp. I, I give it like a 5 out of 10. I give it a, a 5 out of 10 too. I try the Major Melon next, which is Mountain Dew. It kind of looks like an army. It says now. charged with watermelon, 160 cal. No. It tastes like um, cough syrup. Do you like it? 
It tastes awesome. It I tastes give this like, like. Go ahead. It tastes like I'm in an army of watermelons. <laughs> um, it tastes kind of like cough syrup to me. Although I don't like a fake watermelon flavor because that's what it tastes like to me. So I give it like a one out of 10. What do you rate it? A 10 out of 10. Different spectrum. <laughs> okay, okay, whoa, easy, easy. Next. Okay, next we are gonna try the Zero Sugar uh, Mountain Dew Spark with a blast of raspberry lem uh, lemonade. It, so this is the Zero Sugar. Disclaimer, I prefer Zero Sugar sodas and colas. So I'm hoping that this is a win for me because the other two, yeah. I'm not really a big fan of raspberry. It tastes, it tastes like. See, I prefer that more. Let's try this one. Oh. Oh, that's that. Mm. Now a person could get dangerous on that. That'd be nice with a little bit of vodka in the morning. <laughs> I give it a solid ten out of ten. Me too. It's got a, a, a raspberry, a very light lemonade, not a tart lemonade, almost on the sweeter lemonade. It tastes so good. Oh, that's my soda. That That is better than the Major Melon. You like it better than the Major Melon? Yeah. So you give it a 10 out of 10 too? Yeah. Hmm. I like both actually. That's all right. Okay, so next. It's Kool-Aid. So I bought a few of these because I know I like them. So I made a jug of Kool-Aid and I brought some cups. These cups were a winner's fine, like $2.99 or $3.99. Red and I found them, absolutely love. So Red, so here's the key, and I forgot about this. This is how long it's been since I have had Kool-Aid. I forgot that you had to add sugar. So I made it in this jug, didn't read the instructions because that's how I roll, mixed it and I tried it. I'm like, that is terrible. And then I went and I talked to my mom and she said, oh, you have to add sugar. So anyway, I added half the amount of sugar because we're not big sugar drinkers. So um, it says to add a cup of sugar for two quarts. This is a two quart jug. Uh, that's a lot of sugar. So I added half. So that is what we're gonna try. So there's a, you can, oh, okay. Just toss it over there, perfect. Okay, cheers. Cheers, wait, oh. Wait, before we do it. Cheers. Cheers to YouTube. Cheers to YouTube. Oh, that's still a little tart. It tastes what? It tastes watery. I think you added too much water. I like it. I like that's the kind of lemonade I like. That's, like, that's a pink lemonade I like. I'll give it a ten out of ten. Either way, it could be sweeter, but that's user error. Like just a touch, but not by much. I also give it a seven. Like I never, I like Kool Aid, but I've never been like a lover of Kool Aid. But I used to have the Kool Aid jug. Little jug man. Really? Anyhow, yeah, I don't know where it is, but I'll, I'll see if I can find it one day. Not mm. bad, seven out of 10 for sure. Okay, first things first, I am making the Starburst Gelatin Jello. We call it Jello. Yeah. Is that what you guys call it down there? Jello? I call, Let it, me down. I call it gelatin. Jello, gelatin, whatever. Anyway, we're making the Starburst one. It's almost ready, so we will have that soon, soon, maybe after the pancakes. Okay, so we've got the Starburst Blue Raspberry Jello. It finally finished. I did like a quick chill on it. Um, I don't prefer doing it that way, but I thought for the sake of this video, we would do it with a quick chill. So I did the ice cube situation. It doesn't make for a very pretty, pretty jello, but the jello is set. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is sugar-free Starburst Blue Raspberry I'm gonna try it first. Jello. I'm gonna give red some first. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. So good. That is really, really good. I quite like that. Is it actually sugar free? Oh, I just put that back in there. Oh, well. So it only has five calories per pack. It's sugar free, and I would eat this often. Like, I quite like it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like, it's really, really, really good. I like this better than the regular. Mm-hmm. But I wanted right. to try this don Dunkaroo, Dunkaroo, Dunkaroo Frosting <laughs> because I'm like, is it the same as the cookies? So why not just sell the cookies and then just get a tub of frosting? Oh. 
I like and it. I know you should mix it. Like, I get it. You should mix it. Oh, it's, smell. No, you can't mm -hmm. lick it. Smell. <laughs> oh. Okay, wait for me. Wait for me, wait for me. And you, what you should do with this frosting is actually put it in, like, you can hand do it as well, but put it in, like, a KitchenAid blender. <laughs> and whip it. Anyway, ready? Mmm. Mmm. 10 out of 10. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is the entire video. <laughs> Just eating Don Carew's stuff. So this tub of frosting does one 13 by 9 inch cake or one 8 by 9 inch cake, two layer, or 24 to 32 cupcakes. Um, store loosely covered. Um, it's by General Mills. 140 calories per serving and one serving is two tablespoons so that's a lot but for a treat i guess it's okay and store frosting in cool place after opening so it's gonna go in the fridge okay so this is the last thing we're gonna try out here and then we're gonna go ahead and make the dunkaroo pancakes i am both nervous and excited for boiled peanuts i'm kind of nervous like listen water or something in it. I'm scared. But. Can you just stay over here? Should I smell them? Probably not. You should. I'm not. Oh. Right. Yeah. This is what it looks like when you open up boiled peanuts. Ooh, I'm out. <laughs> oh, they should be heated. That makes a lot of sense. Should we heat them? Yep. Apparently we're supposed to eat. This is how Canadian I am. We're going to go heat these up. Out while we're making pancakes. Gross, but we're gonna do it. So I'm just reading the back of these boiled peanuts because I've never ate them slash made them. Um, heating instruction stove top, empty contents into a saucepan, heat to desired temperature. I don't like microwaving things. So I'm gonna take some of them and boil them and then circle back. How long are we supposed oh, to the desired temperature? Desired temperature. I wonder if we could put Cajun spice on them. <gasps> okay, we're gonna boil them. I have a saucepan. Mind the messy stove. So I'm gonna take my saucepan and we're gonna put the amount of peanuts we want in there. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take like a ladle, put a little bit of the brine in there and then just kind of knock out some of the peanuts. I like peanuts, so this doesn't bother me. Oh, it's dripping. Is it? That's great, we're gonna cook all of them. We're just gonna do it all. Should I cover them? Okay, well, let's... This has gotta be interesting. It is, we're gonna cook them. So we boiled the peanuts. And then we let them cool because I overboiled them because that's just how I roll. So Red, you're gonna wanna like take the end off and like suck the peanut out or like get the peanut out like pistachios. Oops. It's okay. It's the brine is really salty. The peanut texture is mushy. It tastes like chicken. Yeah, it tastes like chicken salt. Mom, this is what I like. I don't hate it. Like, I think I could get into that with like, if they were Cajun, I like spice, eh? I like lots of spice. If they were Cajun, I think I could really like do it on a occasion, all the occasions. This is what I do. I peel open the peanut like this and then I just- But I'm not mad. Like... I, I get the fascination with these. I open the peanut, then I put my finger through it, then I ate it. Like the amount of salt that's in here, I can taste it. That's for sure. But I don't hate them. They're not bad. Yeah, taste. for sure. This one's hairy. That's okay. That's just the... Did you know peanuts, they kind of grow like potatoes? I did not know that. No, they grow on the ground. And you pull them up like potatoes and you get all these peanuts on the end of them. Here. It's a peanut potato. Try it again. I'm going to try one more. And just to make sure I like them. Because i that's kind of what happens. I give these like a 7 out of 10. I think if I had them 
Like if I had like someone were to make them for me, like fresh off the stove top, not in a can. Hang on, airplane. I would enjoy them more. Like I like them. They're just a touch salty for me and they could use some spice. And he, the gentleman that I bought these from, they do get Cajun boiled peanuts. He just didn't have any at the time. Yeah, I could get into these. Could you get into them? What do you think? I never had before, so I'll give you the... Um, Remember, 10 out of 10 is being the best. Mm -hmm. And? 7 out of 7 is kind of good. Mm -hmm. So 7 out of 10? Yeah, 7 hmm. out of 10. Okay. We are going to start making the Dunkaroo pancake mix. Mix for pancakes. All right, Red just brought me the Dunkaroo pancake mix. We're only gonna use like a little bit of the mix because I'm not gonna make 16 pancakes right off the bat. We need either one and two thirds cup of water or milk. It says stew, stir, mm -hmm. stir Dunkaroo pancake mix and water or milk with a fork or wire whisk in a medium bowl until blended batter will be lumpy. So I'm kind of gonna eyeball it and just kind of make a few just so we can taste test this out. And apparently it has frosting in it. We're gonna try that. So it comes out like cake mix. I'm gonna assume this is the icing, which it is, but we are gonna use the icing out of my jar. Okay, so I'm gonna take just a little bit of the Dunkaroo pancake mix, just because I, I'm not gonna make all of them today. Like I wanna have them as like a treat. They are really high in calories. My boiled peanuts are boiling over there. But I'll make like half. Okay, so then what I always do, and every time I get a pre-pancake mix batter, I kind of just do this and just kind of crush up any of the like, you know, like the little clumps that there may have arisen. And I'm gonna take a little bit of milk. This is gonna be a little scary. It said it's gonna be lumpy. We're gonna need more than that. See? I don't think pancake mix should be lumpy. Like that's way too thick. Or like lumpy with the Dunkaroo thingies maybe. It looks like cake batter. Like that's what it looks like. It looks like cake batter. Okay, I'm gonna let that kind of just settle for a minute and we're gonna try a boiled peanut. Okay, so I started a frying pan. I could use a griddle too, but I'm not doing that. I've let this kind of set up a little bit and it's got a little bit thicker. This isn't how I like my pancake mix. I'm not a flapjack girl either. I'm hoping that this is gonna give it a little bit of a fluff, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Okay, so the griddle is warm. I did the little water trick. Um, I'm using a third cup, because I don't want them to be too big. Because I want them, we're gonna try them. We're gonna go one, two, whoops. Looks so good. Does it? Yeah. Oh my. Excuse me. You're excused. I ate too much major melon. Let them kind of cook. Once you see the little bubbles on the top. That's when they say to flip them. They're just like real pancakes. Well, that's what it is. It's a pancake mix. I got a boiled peanut in my mouth. Like, I get the addiction, people. All right, flapjacks, pancakes. Not as puffy as I like my pancakes, but we're here. It smells like cake batter. So uh, we've got pancakes, the Dunkaroo pancakes. Um, I've just put butter on them. We're going to try them right now with just the butter, just so we can kind of get a general flavor for them. It's really hard to cook. I'm gonna tell you that it's really, really hard to cook. It, it kind of, it, it's like cake batter. Mmm, that's 
good. Her, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Really? What do you give it? A 1 out of 10? It tastes like... Eh. Eh. I think you're supposed to put the icing on top, so we'll put the icing it on top. It tastes like confetti. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like confetti cake batter in a pancake mix form. Okay, I'm gonna put the icing on top and we'll see because I'm, I'm sure thinking that's probably gonna help it. We put the icing on the top of the pancake, take a bite. Mm, that's way better. It's definitely sweeter. I like it. It's like, got the little things in it. I just, I'm not a fan. I like it. It's like a flapjack almost, kind of. I'll get it. Try. Mm. Okay. Now we're gonna put the blue syrup on. I mean, I would give that probably a three out of 10 for me. You probably are like a 10 out of 10 already. <laughs> just cause of the icing. <laughs> um, that's more of like a three out of 10. Pan I like the icing, but it's the pancakes that are throwing me off. So let's put the blue syrup on. Okay, we got the Captain Crunch maple flavored. God, is it look? It looks so wrong. Like it's wrong, right? Okay. Anyway, here, Red, just take a bite. What do you think? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You, you like that syrup now? Not the syrup itself, but with the pancakes. Oh yeah. No. No. Eh. I give that maybe a three out of 10 as well. There's something to do with the pancake and the syrup that's just not, it's not doing it for me. So that's a no from me, even though I'm just continuing to eat it. Oh, it looks wrong. Yeah, I don't like it. I'll give it- You wanna try another bite for safety? No. Okay. Yeah, three out of 10. It's the pancakes maybe that's doing it for me, but anyway. So some of the stuff we did not try today because we are gonna save that for another video, stuff for Red's birthday video, along with some of the Sonic gelatin, which I'm excited to try, but I just can't do it all. And I don't wanna cook cupcakes at plus 30. So bear with me, that video will be coming. The Funfetti will be coming. Yeah. But um, so far, I think my favorite, I think my favorite drink was the Mountain Dew lemonade. I liked the Kool-Aid, I, you know, um, and for nostalgia, I liked the Dunkaroo in the pack. I love the Dunkaroo icing, the one that's sitting behind me right now, but the Dunkaroo in the pack was nostalgia for me. What about you? What was your favorite? Um, my favorite was Major Melon, and I did, I liked the Blue Rag, but it just, it was in the middle. Right. I didn't like it because it was kind of too tart for me. Did you like any of the Dunkaroo stuff? Yeah, I like the pack and the frosting. Mm. All right, guys, thank you all for stopping in. My name's Kat, as always. It's good to see you. This is... Lower Red. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. All right, guys, we will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.